my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at segments formed by secant lines. So we have the problem secants CBA and CDE intersect at point C outside of circle O. If AB equals 3, ED equals 6, and DC equals 4, find the length of line segment BC. So the first thing we want to do in this problem is label the line segments that were given to us. For instance, we know that the length of line segment AB is equal to 3, so we can label this line segment 3. We also know that the length of line segment ED is equal to 6, so we can label this line segment 6. And finally, we were given that the length of line segment DC is equal to 4, so we can label this line segment 4. And now the goal is to find the length of line segment BC, and we don't know the length of that line segment yet, so we could just call it X. So now we could use the segments formed by intersecting secant's theorem, which states when we have some circle O with secant's ABC and EDC, if these two secants intersect at some point outside of circle O, then the following equation holds. We have AC times BC equals EC times DC, which in some sense all that states is the length of the entire secant segment, AC times the outer segment, BC, equals the length of the entire secant segment EC times the outer portion DC. So we set up this equation and we could substitute with the values that we have in our specific example. So we have AC times BC equals EC times DC. So now what we need to do is we need to substitute for all the values that we can. For instance, we have the length of AC well, we know that the length of AB is 3 and the length of BC is X, so the length of the entire segment would be 3 plus X. So we have 3 plus X times BC. But what is the length of BC? The length of BC, we, said, we set that equal to X. So we have 3 plus X times X equals, and now the length of EC, the entire segment, well, we have the length of ED is 6 and the length of DC is 4, so the entire segment would be 6 plus 4. And now we have times DC, the length of the outer segment is just 4. So now we need to solve, or we need to simplify and then solve for X. So on the left hand side we can distribute. We have X times 3 and X times X. Well, 3 times X is 3X, and X times X is X squared, so we have 3X plus x squared. And now on the right hand side, we could distribute, but we could just simplify what's inside the parentheses since we have two real numbers. So we have 6 plus 4 is 10 times 4. And now what I want to do on the left hand side is use the commutative property of addition. Because we always want to start with the leading x squared. So we have x squared plus 3x equals 10 times 4 is 40. So now we need to move everything to one side of the equal sign. Whenever we're working with an x square term, we always want everything on one side of the equal sign. So now 40 minus 40 cancels and we have x squared plus 3x minus 40 is equal to zero. So now this is where finding the roots of a quadratic equation will come in. We have to ask ourselves what two numbers will add to a positive 3 and multiply to a negative 40. And after a little bit more thought, we could arrive at x plus 8, x minus 5 equals 0. Because 8 minus 5 gives us a positive 3, and 8 times negative 5 gives us a negative 40. So now what we need to do next, we need to consider two cases, because we have the product of two numbers equals 0. So for this to be true, at least one of them needs to be 0. So that would tell us that we have two cases to look at section this off, we have that either x plus 8 is equal to 0, which when we solve for x, we subtract 8 from both sides, and this tells us x equals negative 8 is one possible solution, and we consider the other case when this factor is equal to 0, when we have x minus 5 equal to 0, and to solve for x in this case, we add 5 to both sides, and this gives us x equals positive 5. But now we need to analyze our two possible answers. We have the length of BC is equal to X. Can the length of BC be negative 8? No. In our three-dimensional world, we can't have 
negative distance. That's just not possible. I teach this in another lesson, but the distance from you to your computer screen, let's say it's three feet, but the distance from your computer screen back to you is not negative three feet. It's still three feet. So we reject negative distance. So we rule out that factor. So our answer would be x equals five. So we have the length of BC is going to be five. And now if you do have time on your test, I would recommend that you substitute these values back into the theorem and see if they do check out. For instance, we have the length of AC times BC. Well, the length of the entire segment is three plus five. So we have eight times BC, which is the outer segment. And we just found BC to be five. So eight times five should equal EC, which is the entire secant segment here. And the entire secant segment is six plus four or 10. So we have 10 times the outer segment DC is four. And now when we simplify this, we have 40 on the left, and we have 10 times 4 is 40 on the right. So we know that this value of x checks out. So the length of line segment BC equals 5. Okay, well this is going to conclude this segments formed by secants problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.